enjoy your day then. Good. Yeah? Very good. Behind the joy of motherhood, Sharmika Dockery bears the physical and emotional scars of a traumatizing birth. I'm still in chronic pain and my son is seven years old now and I'm still trying to fight for the support that I need. Just 24 hours after giving birth, Sharmika repeatedly complained to nurses about feeling excruciating pain. But she was sent home, only to be later rushed back to hospital with a life-threatening infection. And she went on to develop other complications. That's why I actually haven't had another child. Um, I don't feel like I could trust them. She believes all of this was avoidable if she was listened to from the off. Why do you think that they treated you the way that they did? I think it was because I was young and that I was black. Um, I think it is a lot of, it could be a lot of hidden racism in the systems. Sharmika's experience is not an isolated one. Latest figures show black women are four times more likely to die in pregnancy or childbirth. Asian women, twice as likely. And they mistake my pains for like attitude. Sandra Igwe also felt unfairly treated after the birth of her two daughters. I felt like my words were dismissed, um, I didn't receive adequate care, I was ignored and almost labelled as the angry black woman that was hysterical and exaggerating her pain when, they, when I didn't. Death in pregnancy and childbirth is rare in the UK, but a new inquiry will examine black and Asian women's experiences of maternity care. My risk of having uh, a death in pregnancy, birth and the natal period is twice as likely to my white British counterpart. I've got seven nieces, and what I want to know is how we can change that. For Sharmika, this inquiry is vital to stop other women going through what she has. Sejal Karia, ITV News.